So it's a uh, beautiful evening down here at the marina. I'm aboard the boat. You don't have to go sailing to have a sailboat. You know, it's a great little... I, I feel like it's my little waterfront cottage, and I don't need to buy a waterfront cottage. <laughs> it's my justification. So, <laughs> it's all in your head, boys. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's a neat little uh, space that's kind of like a little clubhouse, treehouse. It's all your own. On a beautiful evening like this, the last of the evening light. A new pipe to me. A Gladstone. Nice. No, no. Nice size. I like this quarter bent. I'm going to call that a quarter bent. I'm not sure if it is as yet unsmoked by me. Uh, I got it from a guy, I'm going to say, in Illinois, on eBay, um, who had smoked it twice. So it's basically a virgin. And it's, like, totally clean in there. He really cleaned it up nice. He just said he has too many pipes in his rotation, and he just was never smoking it, so it was time to make way for something else. Maybe his wife made him do it. Anyway, I'm the benefactor. No, he's the benefactor. I am the the one who benefits. So I thought, well, I'll come down to the boat. I've got a little bit of tobacco I got up in Toronto when I was up there. It's not that good, but it'll do. Damn, I cannot find it. So, I am tobacco-less. <laughs> it's funny. So, uh, it's the lightest tobacco I've ever seen. Oh, well. Maybe when I get home tonight, I'll go out in my chair in the yard and have a smoke. So, anyway, it's kind of nice to be back in the maritime here, you know. Um, the moist shoreline, even though we're having a real dry summer, it's going to be hot this coming weekend. Um, unusually so, record-settingly so. But I was just over in Northeast Oregon on the bike over the weekend, and uh, what a great time. Oh, man, it was so good, so good. You know, uh, riding a motorcycle is a lot like skiing, to me, anyway, where uh, you carve turns, you know? That's the magic for me. And that's, for skiing, that was the magic, too. Um, I was not a go-fast skier. I was a, like, car precision turns kind of guy. So, uh, so I guess it's a consistent thing. But anyway, had a great time. Put, like, a thousand miles on the bike. Um, you know, and it wasn't too hot down there. It was, like, mm, low 90s in the hottest parts, down by the John Day River, which is really deserty in there. Um, so next, this coming weekend, it's going to be like, oh, Yakima is supposed to be 111, so down on the John Day River, it's probably going to be warmer than that, if that's possible. So, uh, yeah, so what's that, 44, 45 degrees Celsius? Wow. That's getting really warm. But anyway, it was a great trip. Yeah. So I reamed this out to 5.30 seconds. It was not, it was probably an 8 inch. Um, put a little beeswax on the tenon. Uh, nice lucite stem. I actually like that. It's semi-flashy, but not terribly. I'm not sure I like the rustication as much as I could, you know. Um, but the grain is really nice. And the other Gladstone I have also has uh, like a pit or a ding up on the rim, which, you know how I am, I, I don't mind that at all. So, and his symbol is a little uh, fisherman anchor in a circle. So that's kind of cool. Kind of maritime, I like that. can get into that. So, anyway, if I had some tobacco, I'd be smoking. But, oh well.
<laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But it's, it's really nice down here anyway. You ever do that? Grab a pipe and just kind of keep it in your mouth and can sort of get a lot of 80% of the experience <laughs> with no tobacco at all. <laughs> I like these quarter bends because you can see the bowl. It's just down a bit, but it's not like a half bend that's like out of sight kind of. And this just doesn't feel like it's in the way as much as a half bend or a new bowl. Where it just like, it just gets in the way. Sublime, I like that. Eighth to a quarter bend. Maybe that's a D. I don't know. I like it. A fifth. A fifth bend. So, uh, yeah, I smoked a little over the weekend. Um, sitting around the campfire. It was uh, a propane small though, uh, like a little propane campfire. It worked great. It worked great. Much better than a flickering LED candle, <laughs> which we used before. And that worked too, somehow. But uh, having a little heat and the, the flame was, was real nice. You just don't have the smoke in your eyes, but mostly you don't have the campfire smell, which is kind of nice. But no campfires allowed, so out of possibility. I love that dry heat too. But this is nice. I mean, where else can you... I guess you could be on a lake. And the Columbia River, which it's near, uh, certainly has marinas. So, but it's a whole different kind of experience. There's certainly a wind too. <laughs> I'll probably put up a little uh, writing video, some portions you can fast forward to if you don't like that stuff. But it's great country. It's very dramatic. Um, really, the Wild West. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Wild West is a lot of things. I mean, it's a Western. Uh, so that media interpretation of the Wild West, which was often, like in the Spaghetti Westerns, was often in Spain, you know, or Algeria. So it wasn't even the American West. Uh, and it can be down in Arizona, you know, sometimes that seems more emblematic of the West. Um, but Northeast Oregon, boy. Right along the Oregon Trail. Um, isolated country, like 60 miles between towns of any size that have more than a six-pack of beer, you know. Uh, 60 miles between gas stations, fueling stations. Uh, yeah, very isolated. But, boy, big open sky and canyons and you know, best riding imaginable, I tell you. Delightful. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put something together and see if it works. I don't know. I took some uh, video with the GoPro, which is mounted up here on my helmet. And half the videos uh, had like this big bug spatter all over it. So they're not really very usable.